Today's recipe is a smoked jalapeno cheese dip with some delicious bacon inside of it. I can't wait to share this with you guys, but first, let's have a conversation real quick. I picked this recipe because it's cheap, or supposed to be cheap. Because I just paid rent, so money's a little tight right now, and uh, when I went to the grocery store to buy the stuff for this recipe, feels like I paid rent again. Uh, and I'm already mad because I paid rent in February for a month that's not even a full month. So yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. So that's today's poor choice recipe, cheese dip and some beer, because uh, any responsible adult would take their last bit of money and buy cheese and beer. And because I'm broke for the next two weeks, um, this is probably gonna be dinner for a few days. Similar to last week's recipe, which was the chili, where we just threw everything in a pot and then put it on the grill, we're kind of following that same formula this week, because that's what this cheese dip is. is. Everything goes in one bowl, gets mixed up into the cast iron and onto the grill, simple as that. And if you don't have a grill, totally fine. It can go in your oven at the same temperature that we're gonna set it to, which is 350. Um, if you're gonna do it in the oven, I would say maybe add some smoked paprika to your mix, just to kind of get some elements of smoke, cause smoke and cheese go hand in hand really well. So uh, enough of the hand gestures. Let's start mixing this up. So uh, what I have here is eight ounces of pepper jack and eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese that I have shredded up myself because shredded cheese just melts better. I have some room temperature cream cheese here that I'm just gonna plop right in. Um, and actually what I really wanna do is just first kinda try to get this broken up cause everything else is gonna mix in well. Cream cheese is gonna take a little bit of a little elbow grease. A little bit of elbow grease. That's one of the weirdest it's like saying is elbow grease. Elbow grease, you got greasy elbows. <laughs> uh, I have a can, this, how many ounces is this? Seven ounces of just diced green chilies. I'm gonna just put like half of them in there. You can use the entire can if you want to, but I think half is suitable for this because we're gonna add heat and flavor in other ways. Um, I have got one cup of some diced jalapenos which is about roughly two to three, depending on how big the jalapenos you buy. Dump that on in there. And yes, I did take the seeds out because I'm gonna add heat a little bit later. I've also got some mayonnaise here for that creaminess. Let's see if this actually fits in. I got one third cup of mayonnaise that I need. Hey, that slid right in like, uh, like the things that we know as adults. I've got some Cattleman's Mexicano seasoning. I'm actually just using this because as you can see, I have very little left. But that's all I really need. Um, so this is about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more of a teaspoon, but I'm essentially looking for two teaspoons of a Mexican seasoning blend. You can buy uh, any that you have. Like I think Laurie sells one. I'm pretty sure Mrs. Dash does, but just a Mexican seasoning. So I'm gonna pour this entire thing in. And again, this is probably a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. And then just to kind of fill that other half to a full teaspoon, I've got Cattleman's tri-tip seasoning. Yes, I use a lot of Cattleman's as you can tell, but I like this tri-tip one because I love the coarseness of the seasoning. So this one I'm just gonna actually shake in. Also, I've got some bacon here. This is about, this is, actually, this is the pack of bacon that I cooked. Um, you may not need all of it, so let's start out with half, but I don't believe in just cooking a little bit of bacon, so. Start with that half and just kind of see where we land. After getting it mix it up, that's kind of what you're looking for right there. Nothing really complicated. You just want to make sure all that cream cheese uh, and all the ingredients are mixed up well. Let's just take a cast iron uh, skillet here. I think this is about maybe 10 inches. It's definitely not on the large side. I just want to spray it with some cooking oil, spoon or spatula. Everything in there. Let's just spread it around so that it gets evenly distributed. Now that we have that there, the most important step that I want you all to remember. Uh, I just said shred cheese because shredded cheese on your own uh, just melts better. I want you to completely ignore that for this next part because I bought some bag cheese to go on top. But the reason why I bought this one is because it has taco seasonings inside of it. Um, if you want to shred more cheese, please, by all means, go for it. I just saw this and got excited. So yes, I am all about contradicting myself in the exact same episode uh, on this channel. No shame in that. And we're just going to give it just a good, just a good covering on top. Just so I just don't want to see any of the cheese mix below. And then I also want to put a little bit more bacon on top 
And just FYI, I did not cook this bacon all the way fully. I cooked it enough to where it started to crisp so I could dice it up, but I did not cook it to it being burnt because it's about to go on a 350 degree grill for at least 30 minutes and I just don't want it ended up being burnt. So just a little bit of bacon. And then lastly, I just have some jalapeno slices that I just diced up. I'm just gonna just put them around. I'm gonna pretend like they're pepperoni slices. And these I did leave the seeds in, but they're just slices. Like I just thinly sliced them. If you, from here, if you want to, you can put some more bacon on it. If you want, you can put some more bacon on it. It's up to you. You don't have to put more bacon on it. Like honestly, I think the amount of bacon I put on it earlier was perfect. So I would not add any more bacon. Now onto the grill goes. 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. All we're really doing is just looking for this to bubble up. Um, again, it's cooked. So if I wanted to, I could scoop it up and eat it right now. I don't want to do that, but we could. And as I said earlier in the video, in your oven it can go same temperature, 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Just look for it to start browning and bubbling. And that's it. So we'll check on this once it's done, just to show you guys what it should look like. And uh, yeah, cheap pork choices. Moving on. Our cheese dip has been on the grill for about 25 minutes. Let's just open her up. Again, still at 350 degrees. And you can put this on any type of grill with a little bit of wood. You just want to maintain that indirect cooking. And this is the type of bubbliness that I am looking for. So we're going to get this off here. And we're going to get it inside. Now, the most important part of this entire process is letting this cool. And it may take upwards of another 20 minutes for it to cool. But trust me, as someone who has eaten this many times and burned myself many times, you do not want to eat it while it's looking like this. So let's get it inside and then we will finish everything up once it cools. Hey, look at that camera work, all out of focus and everything. Mm, sexy. Hey, I just want to add a quick little thing here. Um, when you are buying your ingredients for this recipe, try not to go super, super cheap on the cheese as I did here and I ended up with a pool of grease. Now, the grease tastes good. Ain't nothing wrong with it, this is all flavor. But presentation wise, it's not going to look that great, especially as it starts to cool. Um, it may look a little gross. So just FYI, just get a decent brand of, uh, of cheese. I, I don't even know which kind I got. I, it was a brand I'd never heard of because again, I was being cheap. That's the only thing I would change. So other than that, enjoy this recipe. It is great for parties and festivities. And uh, yeah, that is it for Choices Kitchen. We'll see you back here next week.